welcome back everybody to another appreciating comic book art video tonight or today this evening this morning whenever you might be watching this we'll look at the aspen sketchbook featuring michael turner and talent caldwell i can't remember when this came out let's see I'm sure it's got the date on here somewhere 2003 huh imagine that that's pretty cool, though. But I've been mean, going through my collection lately. I've been finding a bunch of books that I either forgot I had ever purchased or um, just forgot that I had. So a lot of this stuff is, is pretty cool to come across because it's like <clears throat> reading this stuff again for the first time or seeing it again for the first time. I don't know how many issues they made. This is issue one, uh, if you can see here. Issue one. So maybe they did more, maybe they didn't. This could have just been a one-shot. I don't know. This was right around the time. This must have been uh, a preview for the launching of Aspen Comics, which was Michael Turner's um, company that he, he did after he left uh, Top Cow. So this is going to be kind of cool. This going to be cool looking through these sketches because you're going to see some Soul Fire stuff. Uh, I'm assuming some Fathom stuff. I know that he had that issue with Top Cow and ownership rights for the Fathom character. But um, this is pretty cool. So we start out looking at some Michael Turner stuff. Um, this looks like a painting. I don't know if it's a digital or a hand painting, but that's really cool. Kind of a uh, different kind of style that we just see from Turner. But it's awesome to see these character sketches. Because a lot of times we see the finished character on the pages. You don't get a chance to all all time see like how they're being created you know the different angles and stuff just you know love roughs like this if you if you saw the billy tushi uh she rough that i did just a little bit ago um there's something energy there's a lot of energy uh captured in these lines it doesn't have to be perfect you can you can see you know the 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 base of the drawing within it you know, it's not cleaned up. It's just, it's there. It's serving a purpose of getting the character out and on the on, on the paper. And I don't know, there's something, I don't want to say magical. That sounds stupid, you know, but there's, there's something really cool about it. Turner was great at drawing faces. You know, much like Sylvester, he made everybody good looking. You know, he really knew how to draw into the, the attractiveness, whether you were a male or female young or old everybody was just really good looking in his art and uh, something that's missed in comics today i would say in my opinion but some cool characters here in the soul fire book which i've got a video on soul fire if you go on the back videos on my channel <clears throat> we look through most of uh turner's work on soul fire that <laughs> i don't understand uh what's going on there but uh that's kind of cool, you know, showing a little bit of uh, humor as he's putting all these things down. Yeah, these dragons are really cool in Soul Fire. A very, a very unique kind of take on the dragons. Uh, I love the anatomy of them, the the armor that he put on them, uh, enough to show that they were dragons, but in the same aspect, they were they were different for what he was doing in that book. Just some great. I mean, he just. Soul Fire being a fantasy book, he had some fantastic designs for his characters. Um, that would just say was uniquely Michael Turner. You know, the dude had a great imagination. Get into uh, some Talent Caldwell here. I don't know if uh, Talent was like the first, you know, big artist or guy that he brought on with him to Fathom. I'm not quite sure. This is about around the time I was kind of getting out of comics, or maybe I was getting back into comics at this time. I can't remember. It's I was there's a couple different times I was on and off, but um, good artist, good artist. I never really collected much of his work, but what I've seen of it, I always liked. So I'm surprised I don't have more of his stuff laying around. Very cool design there. Love the anatomy. A lot of energy in that pose. No, that, may, that might be Turner again, too. Maybe that was just... Uh... No, I don't know. I can't tell. He had a very similar style to Turner. A little bit more, you know, 
this is kind of like Turner slash Moderera, maybe, that kind of Caldwell came up with. This looks more like Turner right here. Especially, Turner went really big uh, later in his career with these kind of shorter biceps and then bigger, longer forearms with some of these characters. It's kind of a dead giveaway. Yeah, this is very, very car kind of cartoony, you know, like w the way he was embracing Soulfire and the uh, fantasy aspect of, of this book. It was a little bit more cartoony, like almost to a point where you, if this had, uh, if he had continued this uh, before his unfortunate passing, I could have seen this thing getting picked up, you know, turned into something, especially with Netflix emerging years later and HBO and all that. It's very cool. It's very cool to see stuff like this. I always love the behind the scenes sketchbooks and, and whatnot. And I found a ton of sketchbooks I'm going to be looking at uh, over the next few days. So, all right, guys, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it uh, a like. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. Show this on your, your social media. I really appreciate that. Um, Tuesday, depending on when I actually load this video up, Tuesday we have the a live appreciating comic book art um, stream with Art T. Bear. We're going to be looking at Jim Lee's career. So I hope to see you all uh, Tuesday night at 10 o'clock. All right, everyone. Take care. Peace.